Change Your Thinking Change Your Life by Brian Tracy Chapter 7, Putting People First Part D Personal relationships are the fertile soil from which all advancement, all success, all achievement in real life begins. Ben Stein Take the initiative. You begin the formation of a mastermind group by approaching one or two people you like and admire, and who seem to have the same positive attitude you do. They may be in your field or in another field. They may be younger or older than you, of the same gender or not. It doesn't really matter as long as you have good chemistry. The most important qualifications are that they have positive mental attitudes and are generally optimistic about themselves and their lives. They should have goals of their own that they are working on each day. They should be open-minded and curious. They should believe in personal development, and already read books, listen to audio programs, and attend courses and seminars. Loose or Structured When you get together with members of your mastermind group, you can have an agenda, or no agenda. Your meetings can be structured or unstructured. You can talk about general subjects or specific topics. You may talk about your own business or about theirs. It doesn't matter. The very activity of spending time around other positive people energizes you, makes you more creative, and makes you feel more enthusiastic toward whatever you are doing. An important element of your mastermind group is the amount of laughter that you experience together. This is the key measure of the quality of any of your relationships. People who laugh a lot together like each other more. They are usually more helpful and supportive of each other. The people you enjoy the most in life will always be the people with whom you laugh and joke the most. Two people together. The most important mastermind group that you ever form is with your spouse or partner. A husband and wife together, or a couple, can be the most powerful mastermind of all. When two people are completely attuned to each other, and completely supportive of each other's hopes and dreams, they form a powerful combination that enables each of them to accomplish far more than either could achieve alone. People who are in an excellent relationship with the person they describe as their best friend are some of the happiest, most successful, and most fulfilled people in our society. Two people together can create wonderful things for both of them. Multiple Masterminds You can have more than one mastermind network. Some people will have a mastermind network in their families. Others will have mastermind alliances with people who participate in the same hobbies or sports. You should definitely have a mastermind network that is specifically focused on your work or career. You can even have interlocking mastermind groups with people who are involved with you in more than one area. The more you interact with other positive people, the more positive and productive you will be. Constantly talking with and sharing your ideas and experiences with others will give you a steady flow of ideas and insights from their experiences, and help you keep a healthy perspective on what you are doing. Guard your time. Your most valuable asset is your time, and relationships with people are enormously time-consuming. The number of high-quality relationships you can form and maintain is limited. There are simply not enough hours in the day or enough days in the month. You must be selective about the people with whom you associate. You must choose them carefully. Baron de Rothschild, in his Maxims for Success, said, Make no useless acquaintances. This may sound a bit cold, but remember, your life is precious, and your life is made up of the minutes and hours of each day. You cannot afford to squander it on relationships with people whom you cannot help and who cannot help you, to live and enjoy a better life. You must guard your time carefully. As Benjamin Franklin wrote, Dost thou love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. Be selective in your choices. Many highly successful people are often described as loners. However, this does not mean a loners. They are not isolated, antisocial individuals. They are loners in that they are highly selective about who they spend time with. They do not drink coffee with whoever is sitting there, or go out for lunch with whoever happens to be walking out the door at the same time. They carefully build and maintain high-quality relationships, and they fastidiously avoid negative people who might hold them back. 
if associating with positive people is a key to success, then the flip side is for you to get away and keep away from negative or toxic people. Negative people are the primary source of most unhappiness. Problems with such people are most likely your major sources of stress and frustration. Negative people do more to diminish your joy in life than any other single factor. It's much easier to bounce back from financial loss or reverses in your career than it is to deal with negative people in your work or personal life. One major negative relationship can be enough to cut off all your chances of achieving your full potential in your career. Choose your relationships with care. Seek out a mentor. Most successful people have mentors at different stages of their lives. A person whom you know and who knows you and helps you on a regular basis often determines your success in life. The right mentor at the right time can save you from countless mistakes and years of hard work. At each stage of your life you can benefit from the advice and experience of someone who is further along the path than you. The men who have been there to give me guidance and advice as I have grown up and gone into business at various levels have affected my life dramatically. This type of relationship can have a major impact on your success as well. Many people are a little bit fuzzy about exactly how mentoring relationships work. A mentor is like an uncle. He or she is an older friend, someone wiser and more experienced than you, who will give you guidance and advice from time to time. A mentor can help you avoid pitfalls that might sidetrack your career or hold you back. Develop a strategy. As it happens, the best potential mentors are successful people who are already very busy. Approaching one of them requires strategy and planning. Here is what you do. When you decide that you would like a particular person to be your mentor in a particular area, you should contact that person with a specific question or need. Most successful people are open to helping other people who want to be successful as well, but they are busy. They don't have a lot of time. You should not ask for more than 10 minutes. The best way to approach a prospective mentor for the first time is with a short list of key questions for which you need answers to help you to make current decisions in your life and your career. Do not approach a mentor asking personal questions about his or her life and experiences. Busy people are not interested in sharing their innermost experiences and feelings with someone they have never met before.